It's been a mighty minute since I've smelled anything from John Varvatos. Now, John Varvatos does make some really dope fragrances, but they always have a consistent issue. Lack of performance. Them joints need a Sayalas or a Viagra because they can't keep it up. But they're such nice fragrances and they really do know how to make them well, they just can't make them last. Now to some people, they want some 17 hour performing fragrance, which isn't realistic, but you don't also want something that'll last 30 to 45 minutes because that's a waste of life. Now today, I'm gonna feel like a Jonas Brother because I got a Varvedo's Jonas Brother collab randomly and we're gonna smell it together let's roll my motherfucking music so i can smell like nick jonas and bag up a nice little yeah i'm kind of a big Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. So I bagged the fragrance of John Varvatos Nick Jonas collab. I think that there's a couple of collabs. This is the blue one, hence the blue box. And uh, once again, as my usual spiel goes, I don't know shit about the fragrance. I just like the whole blind buying experience. I don't recommend anybody else do blind buys. I do it because this is my brand, this is my channel, this is a business. So I do it because it's fun and I like the whole Christmas feel atmosphere. But don't do it. Test the shit out if you have the opportunity and save yourself some money. So here is the presentation, very nice, very cool looking bottle. This is the Nick Jonas John Varvatos bottle. Comes with a little fucking leather tag joint here. Very Nick Jonas, like I'm gonna be cool and sexy and la, 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 sex by the ocean. I don't know if that's what he sings. I really don't know his songs or listen to the Jonas Brothers because I'm a fucking adult, but not according to my wife. Here we go. I love the presentation. I like this rustic style look cap with the emblems. It looks like a nice bolt. So let's go ahead and smell this fragrance. I don't have the highest hopes, although I'm a fan of John Barbados fragrances minus the performance factor, which some, I don't need it to perform 58 hours. I really don't. As long as it has a decent amount of performance or just go over spray or bring the bottle with me, I'm cool with it. But this one, I'm expecting it to be kind of teeny bopper, maybe slightly immature. That's my assumption. I'm judging it completely, but we'll find out right now. All right, so Jean Barbados, Nick Jonas, I don't know if this is blue. It's an eau de toilette concentration, but we'll see. Very, um, uh, like minty, very playful, very youthful, Versace arrows kind of vibe. It's nice, fun, playful. Nothing crazy or groundbreaking. Reminds me of arrows with something. I don't know what that something is, honestly. It's in the space of Versace arrows. This isn't bad at all. This is definitely mass appealing. This is date night. This is going out. This is party vibes. Minty, aquatic. I mean, it's arrows. It feels arrowish. It's like minty, aquatic, lavender, citrus, probably like orange or bergamot, maybe some spice like black pepper maybe woody yeah i'm in that space it versace arrows ish minty on paper it smells like it performs decent but it's not something that i want to spray on my skin right now it feels very fun and playful um not bad at all to be honest with you but do i feel it's unique no do I feel like it's gonna perform well? I don't know. On paper, it smelled great, but most of the Varvados just have that lack of performance issue that most people talk about. Let me not be a douchebag. Let me try it on my skin. Because maybe, just maybe, I might have a blast with this joint. Who knows? This, there's times that I just wanna have fun and just wear a fun, easy, playful fragrance that I don't gotta think about too much. As usual, it does smell better on skin comes off really shower fresh off my skin, kind of soapy, body wash-ish. The lavender pops up a lot more. The spice is not present. It was on paper, it's not on my skin. Definitely bright, citric, aquatic, 
body, soapy, very fun. It actually seems like it has okay performance off of that single spray. It seems to be okay. It's too early to judge, but you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm being a little bit kind of like bleh, bitchy and snobby about it. It's really not a bad fragrance. I got this joint off of Max Aroma, but I know that this joint was at like TJ Maxx's or Marshall's and shit like that. And you could probably get this for so cheap, like so cheap. I've heard places like 20 bucks, maybe even cheaper, which is fucking amazing. Like that's what you want. If you can, if you have one of those major department stores around there and this is like a $20 fragrance, it's an absolute buy. There's like no question in my mind. This fragrance should not be over 50 bucks. It should definitely live in that 30, $20 space or even lower. So if it's under 30 bucks, I think it's a definite buy. It's one of these easy, mass appealing, soapy, aquatic kind of fragrances with bright citruses and lavender that you just can't go wrong with. Regardless of my snobbishness that I'm going through right now, I actually am a fan of Barbados fragrances minus the performance, although this one doesn't, it really doesn't give me the impression that it's gonna be a weak fragrance from Rip. It's not bad. It's Versace arrowish in a space with a little bit more of aquatic feel. It still has that minty residue, but on paper, the mint shined a little bit more than it does on my skin. It's a lot more soapy. So on a scale of one to 10 minus my snobbery, Mm, five eight, five nine is where I'm living with the Varvados Nick Jonas collab. It's not a bad fragrance. I mean, if you can get this shit for, if in some space it lives in a ten twenty dollar space, absolutely cop, hundred percent. If it's over a fifty dollar, just shop it around. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know if this is something that you would cop. Unfortunately for me, it's not a full ball spray, but I'm not completely disappointed in this fragrance. It's kind of what I anticipated it to be, and maybe slightly better. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. No, I'm not a Jonas, brother. I'm a grown-up. I'm not a virgin. I use my cojones. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, snort tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>